Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, France have beaten Morocco, and France will take on Argentina in the World Cup final. Mbappe against Messi. It's going to be a massive, massive game on the weekend. But I'm absolutely gutted. I'm not going to lie. I was all aboard the Morocco train, hoping Morocco would get to the final, cause an upset, and win the World Cup. And it isn't going to happen. They have been beaten on the night 2-0 and 2-0 probably flatters France because whilst they did get that early goal through Theo Fernandez, um, Hernandez rather, um, Morocco were excellent. Went close on a number of occasions. Bicycle kick just before half time. Couple of chances in the second half. One where they should have pulled the trigger and didn't. And you're just screaming out there at your TV, please shoot. He doesn't shoot and the chance goes begging. Um, Morocco had their chances there today to at least make it 1-1 when it was 1-0, despite going behind to that Hernandez goal. And despite defending poorly in the first half, Morocco in this World Cup campaign have been absolutely magnificent in terms of their defending, in terms of, you know, really digging into games and making it difficult for teams to score goals. When you look at their record in the World Cup, you know, no goals conceded against Croatia, Belgium, they conceded one against Canada, no goals conceded against Spain, no goals conceded against Portugal. They came into it flying. They played some really big teams, not really conceded. And to concede after five minutes, really, really disappointing, especially when you look at the way they play. Um, and if they could have kept it nil-nil for as long as possible, you know, you never know what could happen. France get a little bit more nervy, you know, to start to, you know, maybe make a few mistakes. And who knows, Morocco could have come out the winners in this but as it is um you know France win the game 2-0 goals for them from Hernandez and whilst the second goal wasn't scored by Kylian Mbappe it was scored by Colo Moani um Kylian Mbappe's footwork and trickery to get the deflection which brought it into his teammates path to score the goal was absolutely fantastic and that was him getting a knock in the in the game as well and looking like he was hobbling on a few occasions so France will be worried about that ahead of that game against Argentina he's never going to miss a World Cup final though an opportunity to win his second World Cup how old is he 22 or something ridiculous like that to win two two World Cups at that age is is, is Pelé levels isn't it now for me you know, Mbappe's got a, a long way to go before we talk about him on the Pele and um, Messi and Ronaldo levels. And, you know, he has to do it for a long period of time. The World Cup is important to many people, though. For me, I don't consider it to be the, you know, the, the utmost top. You know, for me, the Champions League is a more difficult competition to win. But when you look at the amount of people that watch the World Cup, the amount of people that are encapsulated by it, you know, it's the biggest stage. And to do it at that point where maybe, you know, the most pressures on people when you've got the whole nation relying on you is incredible. And if he comes away with two World Cups at the weekend, um, it's going to be madness. If Messi comes away with his first World Cup at the weekend, it's going to be madness. But I cannot lie. I am so disappointed. My World Cup's over because I wanted Morocco to win the damn thing. And you've got to take your hats off to them, their coach. They were absolutely incredible. Hats off um, to What's it called? Regragui? Sorry if I've said his name wrong. Um, absolutely incredible. Today they had Agued coming off before the game even started. You know, he was an important player for them. They had Chadira who was suspended. Um, they had players out, you know, left, right, and centre with injuries coming off during the game, having to be subbed at half time. Um, they had their issues um, in there. Uh, today, Masrawi had to come off, a um, big player for them. You know, after the game against Portugal, they were all hanging in there, they were all digging in there, fighting for each other, um, you know, picking up injuries, picking up knocks, picking up red cards, as we saw. Um, and they just about had a team stuck together. And it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, Saiz went off as well. It wouldn't surprise me if the likes of um, Aguered, who, who came off, you know, before the game started uh, from the starting lineup. We're just telling the manager, saying with size, yeah, I'm fine, I can play. And then when it comes to the game and you, you, you're coming up against the likes of Mbappe and Giroud and Griezmann, who's been excellent, obviously you get found out and your injuries <laughs> turn up, don't they? So the manager had to deal with that as well. Um, I thought the Morocco fans have been the best fans at the tournament. I think Argentina fans have been incredible 
as well. Um, but for me, the Morocco fans have been, 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 been the best fans of the tournament. And I think Morocco has been the team of the tournament. This is what the World Cup's about. Their fans, the team spirit that they have, the unity that they have, you know, being able to beat some of the teams that they did along the way to the semi-finals. Now they've got an opportunity to potentially finish third if they can beat Croatia, who put in a lot um, in their last game against Argentina. So Morocco, you know, for me, team of the tournament. They stole the show, but France will head to another World Cup final. And for, you know, a lot of the headlines will go to Mbappe. I think Mbappe has been very good in this tournament. But for me, their player of the tournament has been Griezmann. Griezmann has been absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, in, in terms of his defensive ability, the way he works hard for the team, um, you know, going from an attacker to, 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 to a midfielder almost, um, and putting in the, the hard yards and making the foundations there for the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Dembele and Cole to attack. I think Griezmann has been absolutely fantastic um, for them. And I know Messi and Mbappe will get all the talks and one of them might get the team of the tournament, uh, the player of the tournament, sorry. But if France were win to win this World Cup, you know, Griezmann, uh, for me, could possibly be the player of the tournament. Um, but hats off, as I said, Morocco, incredible. Al Nezri, what about him? Ziyech stepping up for his country. Bufal, Mazraoui, Amrabat as well. I'm sure there'll be a whole host of clubs lining up to sign some of these players. Um, they've done their country proud. They've done their continent proud. They've done the Arab world proud. Um, you know, an African team has got to the semi-finals um, in this tournament and they're representing so many different groups of people and it's absolutely fantastic to see my team of the tournament for sure let us know who your team of the tournament is in the comments below um, obviously France Argentina in the final is it Messi's moment or is Mbappe gonna make it two World Cups for him from a United perspective as well we've got Rafael Varane against Lissandro Martinez oh man Martinez is probably gonna start on the bench because Scaloni is an idiot <laughs> um, Ran against Martinez. Let's hope they don't fall out. We've finally found a defensive partnership and now they go head to head in a World Cup. Hopefully, you know, there's no dramas between them two um, because they are a partnership we need to keep together. Varan could be close. How many World Cups? Two World Cups? Four Champions? How many Champions League? Four or five? Lost count of the amount of trophies. What a ridiculous record he's got. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it locked by hitting that subscribe button. France, Argentina in the final. But Morocco go out at the semi-final stage. But for me, team of the tournament. Anyway, see you in a bit.